subjects have the guys one of the OG youtubers one of the oldest ones there is these days one of the people that really defined what YouTube is today and kind of regulates what's popular on this site so for this to have happened really caught me off guard since Sean is really one of the nicest guys on this platform and really sets an example of how YouTubers should really be these days. Just a kind and honest soul. And I'd just like to say that I wish Sean and his entire family the best for the future. And really that they just stay strong throughout all of this. Since this is really a shitty situation to happen to anyone. So as a longtime fan I'd just like to say from the bottom of my heart that I am sincerely sorry for your loss. But with that out of the way, we can focus on the main goal of this video. And that is the low-life fucking scum that tried to make memes out of this entire situation. For you to make memes and try to make lightheartedness and jokes out of someone that's just recently passed away. I, I, I don't know what to say. It just makes me fucking fuming knowing that there are cunts out there that try to make jokes of someone's dad dying and they could still go to sleep thinking they did the right thing. Well, newsflash, those free likes you got on fucking Twitter for posting that bullshit. Yeah, it wasn't worth your dignity or your fucking humanity if you even have any left. This is just another case of dumbasses trying to jump on something that is famous at the moment and trying to crack a lot of jokes and make memes about it just so they can fit in with the cool kids. But in case you're not up to speed with what's happening right now, Jack Sepikai's father recently passed away and some fuck knuckles on Twitter thought it would be a very smart idea to go and make memes about it and try to, I don't know, increase their dick size or something so that females can finally notice them. And in doing so, they just became the biggest scum lords on the internet by far. Doing this to anyone is just the lowest of low. But they chose to do it with the nicest person on the internet. I mean, what the fuck do you make out of this? I mean, I knew for a very long time that the internet's a very fucked up place. And that they are desperate enough to do just about anything to get just a little bit of attention. But these motherfuckers just passed hell with how low they are going. I honestly thought that we've already reached the highest level of fucked up that we could reach on the internet with trolls. But these aren't trolls anymore, they are just simply disgusting human beings. And I don't even feel comfortable calling them that because there is nothing on this earth with a heart. They would do something like this and still think to themselves that that their lives truly have still meaning left in them. Well, it fucking doesn't. If you're one of the people that made some of these memes and made fun of someone passing away, then your life is just completely meaningless. And I truly hope that you don't believe that other people like you or approve of your actions. Because what you did is the shittiest thing that I have ever seen on the internet. And I have been on the internet for a very long time and I have seen some bad shit happening. And again, for this to happen to someone that is as nice as Sean McLaughlin, I mean, does humanity really still have any hope left with this situation, really? Is there any hope left for us? Because all I have to say on this subject is that if you are one of the people that actually thinks that making fun of someone that just passed away is an okay thing to do, then please go fuck yourself and never show your pathetic face to anyone ever again.